Hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff back again with another Sunday Fun Day A Disease of Christian Rock. We are on H at this point. So, again, if you're just joining us, these are Christian rock, hard rock, metal uh, from my collection on vinyl that uh, I'm just running through because a lot of people are not as familiar with the rockin' bands that are in the, you know, labeled more in the Christian realm. As mentioned in previous uh, videos, you know, it's sometimes it's kind of tough. There are bands that lean into both camps. Uh, there are, you know, are Christian people in the band, but the band itself may not be totally, or maybe the band is not marketed as such, um, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of gray areas I try to mention, but maybe not cover as much of them as I would. So I think most everything in here is pretty straightforward. First one I'm going to show is cheating because it's not on vinyl, though I have toyed with the idea of what it would take to put this on some kind of vinyl. I This is my band, Hemo Theory. So we're in the H's and we're going to accept this. And this is just a CD that we released. Self-release. I made the cover. I printed the cover. Everything is, you know, self-release CDR type stuff. But we made them in pretty mass quantities. Uh, you know, CD Baby used to carry them. You used to go to get them on Amazon. They used to carry a stock of them. Um, they are digital on all the digital platforms. You can find us on anywhere, Spotify, Amazon Music, iTunes, places like that. So um, there are no more physical CDs. I have not made any of these CDs in a good decade. Our singer passed away in 2014. 2014. Ten years ago and we haven't done anything since um, the only person in the band that I'm still strongly for me uh, still hang with is our bass player uh, so goes to my church um, one of the guest guitar players on this album who um, we used to be in the band and then he left the band and then when I, jo I joined the band he was he left the band after that and he came back and played some guitar parts because some of the songs he had written um, and he and I are still friends. We used to go to the movies all the time, and it's been a, a couple months, uh, but we are still close. But the bass player goes to church with me and, and still plays with me occasionally. Um, and this is also what I mentioned the other day when I showed the Pillar album. This was the band that Noah's uncle is in with me. And I know you can't see it, but there's a picture of him right there. Not Noah, but his uncle. But anyway, so yeah, check it out. Maybe you want to get out there and look at that. We have some cool dudes right there. Anyway. Go look us up on Spotify. Hemo Theory, Zeta um, is the only one we got, so you won't find anything else. Um, there's some stuff on YouTube. There is stuff on all the other digital platforms. But, hey, give it a listen. Say, hey, there's Jeff on drums. I know him. Long time ago, cheating. There's the H's. Get into it. Haven, your dying day. Early, I was just like a late 80s, but one of the earlier bands that really they they have a the singer's got a real high vocals. We used to compare it to like a Jeff Tate sound. They had a Queens Reiki type influence in the early days. Great stuff. Um, love, love, love this album. And then the day they came out with the second album, Age of Darkness. Then it seemed like there was a little bit of a gap. Well, maybe I can't remember the years in between, but then all of a sudden three came out, I believe. Um Anyway, so yeah, then they all got issued on vinyl in the past, I don't know, four or five years. So that was thrilling. This was kind of the Missing Link album. We didn't hear. It seemed like there was a gap in between there. The first two albums were like really in there and then all of a sudden this. So anyway, great, great stuff. All right, Head, Brian Head Welch. This is after he left Corn. This is after he started professing being a Christian and everything. And he put this album out. Now, after this album... This whole sound and everything, he transferred over to Love and Death, which have released a couple albums. So it's it feels about the same, but this is more of just his stuff. He has a, a biography that came out around the same time, explaining his you know journey and and, and and all that into faith. So, but there you go. He put one album out under the moniker of Head. All right, Hero Miracles, uh, Swedish band. Um, who put this album out? Ah, Blood Red Music. Okay, it was, well, Rocks had a hand in it. Okay. But, you know, the album itself, you could tell the, the, 
well, the cover looks like it's just a blown up version of the CD, but yeah, cool stuff. They've got a couple albums out under the he name Hero, and uh, I figure this is like the second or third album, but it's the only one that I'm aware of that has ever come out on vinyl, and this one you may can still get. Was there some color ones or was it all black? You may can still get this because it seemed like there were still some straggler copies around, but um, great stuff, you know, uh, mm, melodic metal, hard rock. Euro metal feel at times. Okay, these are actually fairly new. I got these just a couple months ago at the end of the year there. Um, I showed them Holy Name. New metal, uh, hard uh, metal core. Very praise worthy. Um, very, yeah, it's almost like hardcore metal core praise albums. You know, very worship type music um, at extreme extreme levels and they put out a live album initiation shortly thereafter so there you go all right probably the yeah end all be all one of the biggest names in the ages holy soldier um you know these guys should have been up there with striper and everything they have the look they have the sound they were just just amazing this first album uh was amazing first album i think was on like more records or something one of the bigger labels they had a video i don't know if it ever made it to mtv uh great stuff and um i just this album to me was just you know perfection it was just great the image the sound everything about it was just amazing dual gu guitar attack everything about it was amazing second album last train Kind of a quick turn in style, very uh, much going towards more of a, 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 a bluesy, you know, almost kind of like the, this reminds me a little of like the first Cinderella album and then the next Cinderella album, you know, they kind of went for a more bluesy feel when they went from here. Excellent album, it's just a different change of pace, um, you know, and you know, they still had to look and everything, just a, a change of pace. Give Me Shelter, they did a cover of that on here, you know, the uh, Rolling Stones song. Anyway, great album, and then they were done. Two, well, no, they, two, they did two albums with that. Uh, they did an album with a different singer, that's, and they went really, really into the grungy sound. Um, they did another album where they had both singers doing some of the songs. And Anyway, but these first two albums, absolutely pivotal, absolutely you know, great stuff. I'm not sure if we'll ever see any of the, per, the releases that came after this. I don't know if we'll ever see those on vinyl, but I wouldn't complain. And then the last one in the H is not a whole lot here is Holy Right. I mentioned them not too long ago, just in a video recently, because um, I showed the final Axe album. So this is Holy Right. This is Keith Miles, um, also known as Simon Tyler, whatever. Um, so Keith Miles, uh, the band, and Keith separated, the band formed a different band. They went on to do a different band than I am. Wow totally drawn a blank i have a demo by them they played some concerts and then just like last year they got back together and did a new album and they sent me a digital copy and i am totally having a brain fart but anyway um yeah so it was funny because uh i was talking to the drummer online he's the one that sent me the digital copy and i told him hey just for you for the record back in the day he had a drum set back in these days which is all roto toms Roto toms. If you don't know what those are, usually you see drummers playing the roto toms. They have the three little ones, the like six, eight, ten. Those little teeny, they're just like metal rims with the drums. You tighten them up by twisting them. Um, really shallow little roto toms. Well, um, he had, and I copied from him all eight of them. So I had a drum set that was all eight roto toms. So all of the drums were like this thick, metal rims with the drum heads. Um, now, he said, well, you know. I got that idea from Alex Van Hill, and they're a California band. And I'm like, I kind of probably did know that maybe. If you look at the jump video, Alex Van Hill in, in the jump video has all the rotor toms. And, but he's got them all set up like mainly in front of him. Um, I had them all in the room. But anyway, so he says that's kind of where he got the idea from. And I said, well, I got the idea from you. So anyway, yeah, uh, just funny story there. But I had also mentioned that around this time that, you know, Keith has been the one that did the logo for my magazine at the time so um it's a it's it's an interesting album 
could really use a remix and everything. It's got it, it, it's really rough self-release type album. But back in the day, you know, you either loved it or hated it. And, and for me, I just ended up loving it. After this, Keith went on to hook up and do the Final Act stuff. He's done the Titanic stuff under that name. And then he disappeared. Nobody knows where he's at now. So uh, last we heard, he was living in Vegas. But we haven't, uh, nobody seems to have heard from him in a while. But yeah, he's put out a lot of great music over the years and the up into the 90s before uh, his became MIA. But there you go. Stand as one, holy right, a classic. Great stuff. There you go. That's it for the H's. We'll move on into the next letters. I'm, you know, if, if it's not a lot of I's, then maybe we'll combine another one. But for now, we'll leave it. See you later. Rock on and rock hard. <laughs>